What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of VR AR Insider. In this episode, we are going to discuss Facebook has acquired the rights to both Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell. So very big news here coming from Facebook, meaning Oculus, with acquiring the rights to both Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell for the use on their Oculus headsets. Very popular games, a lot of users. Uh, Assassin's Creed, just by themselves, sold 1.4 million copies in their first week of sales that was released earlier in 2019. So, obviously with a large large pool of users coming to the Oculus at some point, we're not sure yet. It hasn't been reported when they're going to integrate both Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell onto the Oculus devices, but you can rest assured that at some point with this acquisition that they're going to be making their way onto the Oculus devices at some point, possibly later this year or in 2020. Most likely will probably be in, in 2020. So a very big deal for the Oculus team. And we're going to start seeing this a lot more now, as it also states in this article, Sony acquired the rights to Skyrim. Um, we'll probably see at some point games like Fortnite and Call of Duty, Battlefield, games along that nature making their way onto VR headsets. And it's just a matter of the companies with the most money, such as Oculus and Sony, paying the money and acquiring the rights and having those in, having those games integrated onto their headsets. And we'll eventually see all games onto VR headsets as as VR becomes more and more popular it's just a matter of time but it's nice to see that now we're starting to see, now we're starting to get these really popular games with large pools of users onto the biggest headsets in the world so very cool stuff here from Facebook and the Oculus team so that's it everybody for this episode of VR AR Insider if you guys want to read the article for yourselves we will leave a link in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll be seeing everyone again very soon.